Welcome to the Dirt Shed Show. This week we've got lots happening and we are brought here by Chain Reaction Cycles, of course, and look who we've got by popular demand, Henry's back. Back in business. Bang. Nice to be here. How's it going? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good, yeah. how are you? Very good, thank you. Very, very good. We've got lots going on and we've got lots coming up. We've got lots of big trips. This week on the show, we're gonna be talking about a fantastic video that has sparked a bit of a conversation between us at least, and I'm sure with you guys, so we'll be talking about that. We've got the bike vault. Uh, we've got send of the week. We've got some crashes, have you seen those? I haven't actually. Oh, I, I, I like man. to kind of savor them, you know? <laughs> There's some crashes, some silly ones actually, I quite like. There's some silly yeah. ones. Uh, and all the other regular stuff. We're also going to be giving away a race top to the best story from last week's oh, comments. Cool. Oh, wow. Yes, so someone's going to win a race top soon. So let's get going with the show. Um, and our topic this week, I love this, right, is the emergence of a new era in women's mountain biking. Yes. This is cool, isn't it? It is cool. Yeah, have you seen this video, Vision? It's yeah, brilliant. It is incredible. Definitely mm. doing it justice. Yeah. And the yeah. line itself. Oh, incredible. Oh, in work of art. Yeah, so this video is built around Veronica Sandler just building this trail. Um, well, not trail, like a line. Yeah. Which is like one of the lines you would be more akin to seeing in like a Brandon Semenek movie. It's all yeah. about flow. It, it's literally jumping back and forth across a basically a fire road. It's it's amazing. Um, and it, it's such a cool um, trail. But also built around that story, Veronica meets lots of riders who come and ride that trail. It also goes out into different places around the globe to other people's riding, but you're talking people like uh, Brendan Fairclough's in there. Big names. Um, we've got Matt Jones is in there. Martin Soderstrom is in there, but also drizzled around all these people. We've also got Tani Seagrave, yeah. Manon Carpenter. Um, I think who else is in there from the from the women's side of racing? There was a really great clip earlier on that I saw. I think it was Tani actually doing an amazing scrub. Yeah, I think it oh, was Tani. It was so good. Unbelievable, right? And what's incredible about this video, uh, and I wanted to get your views on this, Henry, you is that is is that it's very different because it's led by Veronica and her and her and her thoughts and her riding, and it's very rare, if at all, that we've seen a female-led free ride video. Yes, you're I mean, right. That's rare, isn't it? It is rare, but I think it's really good. I think the cool thing about, especially sort of Instagram watching Ronix um, riding, it just seems to just embody such like a pure enjoyment. Yeah. And I think that's that's always good to see. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and I think you know moving away from sometimes the kind of the times in racing mm. don't always perhaps tell the full, full story, and that they're comparing them to the men's. Yeah. It just yeah. seems like such a yeah. What, what do you think? Well, I think that's exactly true. Is I think sometimes we love racing, mm -hmm. um, of course, but you don't need to love racing to love mountain biking at all. In fact, I'd say there's much more people that like mountain biking and have got no idea about racing. Yes. So I think the times aren't that important. I know they are if you're into the race, but they, you like you say, they don't tell you about the rider in any way, really. Um, I mean, look at someone like Casey Brown. Like, she's not winning World Cups, mm. but... There's not many girls who look better than that on a bike. Yeah, um, that's it. So, I mean, it's not all about it. And look at people, we're so accepting to free riders and, and other, you know, riders coming from the male-dominated side of the sport that just don't rely on results in no. any way. They're just doing it through being stylish. And that bit's open to all of us. Yes, you're totally right. We can right. all interpret a trail and make it look cool. And it, and it opens up to being a subjective art form, yeah, essentially, yeah, and I think yeah. that's going to well, hopefully lead to a lot more cool things. And yeah. so many of, personally, my favourite riders yeah. have come from a World Cup background, yeah. and people, I think people forget that Nico Vink used to race World Cups, Andrew Lacuna guy, yeah. um, you know, Conor McFarlane, yeah. just the absolute boy, he used to race All World Cup cross yeah. country. Yeah. He yeah. raced Worlds under 23s. Yeah, easy. You know? That's incredible, really. So, I don't, that's amazing. And I think it's maybe a great way to get them into the sport. And yeah into the right kind of circles, but it's yeah. cool they've just gone off and said, you know what? Well, I mean, they pulled it off with this video, right? Because this isn't like an attempt to do it, it's done it, right? Yeah. So, you, so it can be done, <laughs> yeah. so it can be done. So it is a moment, it is the start of a new era, and I love that. I've always been a big fan of the of the female side of racing. My favorite rider of all time is Anne-Caroline Chausson, mm -hmm. um, and 
I, I was blown away by her talent and uh, I've always been searching in the, the downhill ranks, I guess especially, to like see that coming up through again. Mm -hmm. um, we've had it a few times. Um, great era right now with Rachel Atherton, who's, who's proving to be a, a worthy Compare to Anne Caro's legend, yes. which I never thought I'd see. Yes. Um, so it's 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 really great to see this video, um, and I hope I hope this is one of those moments where we see another entry point for women getting into mountain biking and not it not being all about getting race results, but getting out there on bike and making it look sick. Yes. Right. We've got to keep going with the show, so I can't keep talking about that video. I want to. <laughs> I can um, tell you. I just want to bring out though. Flow. I've been saying Veronica Sandler. Is it Veronique? I think it's Veronique, but then I might be Veronica. I'm Veronique. I'm sorry. I think it's Veronique, but hey, sorry, hey, why don't you way. come on the show and tell us, <laughs> tell us how to say it? Yeah. Right, let's get on with the news. In the news this week, uh, while unfortunately we have to start off with some bad news, especially for British mountain bikers, the Ard Rock Enduro had to be cancelled at the weekend. It's a massive festival. Uh, I think something like 20,000 people go to this, about 5,000 racers take part in the Enduro. But we had flash flooding up in Yorkshire that uh, destroyed homes, washed away walls, washed away livestock as well actually, and the uh, organisers had to unfortunately cancel the event. But the good news to come out of this event is the Ard Rock organisers have actually put together this GoFundMe page where if you uh, just donate 10 pounds, you'll be in with a chance of winning this Santa Cruz Mega Tower CC, actually the top spec one, and all the funds are going into that local Swaledale community to try and help those people get over the destruction caused by those floods. So well done, organizers of Hard Rock Festival. In business news, Bosch e-bike have actually bought a 50% stake in the German manufacturers of brakes, Magura Brake. So interesting news there. Uh, basically, they're saying that in this way, we can make even better use of synergies of the bicycle and e-bike growth markets in order to not only meet current and future market demands, but to push ahead with innovations. Sounds like it could be quite interesting, actually. Right, World Cup took place actually in Val de Sol, World Cup racing. So we've done a podcast if you want to get into the nitty gritty of all the happenings from the short cross, uh, short track cross country to the XEO to the World Cup downhill, all over in the podcast. But the highlights of this race were Matthew Vanderpool winning both the short track and the XEO. Laurie Greenland taking his first ever win in a downhill. Also, Marine Cabaru taking her first ever win. And Pauline Frampervo actually outsprinting out Yolanda Neff in the women's cross country. Loads of great action there. Check it out on Red Bull TV or check out our podcast as well for all the behind the scenes stuff. Now, have you ever thought about buying a carbon fibre frame, but you're worried about smashing it into a rock and it exploding into a million pieces? Well, check out this from Gorilla Gravity. That didn't stand a chance against revved carbon. Basically, they just smash stuff into the frame and they say it's 300% more impact resistant than other carbon frames. So that's the news all wrapped up. And yes. on to this week's quiz question. Are you asking the quiz? Uh, oh, amazing. If that's quite all right. Yeah, I never get I? to guess. Yeah, I, I am very good. I'm very oh, good. Oh, wow. I oh. know the answer to most questions. Okay. Generally. Well, let's see how you do. Okay. So, Val de Sol, the venue for this weekend's World Cup, all right. has produced some legendary downhill ones over the years. Oh, okay. Danny Hart in 2011. I knew that. Aaron Green, 2012. <laughs> Both amazing ones, and I highly <laughs> recommend you give them a quick search at home. Mm. In the year, that Sam Hill absolutely took apart the field. Yes. Before washing out on the very last corner. Gutted. Who was the eventual winner of that race? I know the answer to this. Do you? Oh yeah, That's I good. think I do. Just say it then, don't you know? It's <laughs> Matt, it's, I can't say his second name. It's Matty Lekoinen. Matty Le Leikonen. Oh, Is that it? Oh no. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, let me have another guess. Hang on. Hang on. You got people shouting at the screen at home. Are they? Maybe. Well, shout louder. <laughs> it's a pretty I can't famous hear. race. Give me a minute. Let's get a thousand bows. I'm going to get this. <laughs> yes. Oh! You good? Oh, 
It's not a snake? No, that's a tire. Good crashes this week. I like that. Did you see Max in there? Yeah, that was. With the snake attack. That but was pretty. Let's watch it again. I love it. Look at it. Was that a snake? Ow! No, that was that a snake? <laughs> oh my god, that would have been so scary. Yeah. He thought he was on his back. Oh, it's the Jesus. kind of thing you never lived out, <laughs> let alone if you catch it on videotape. Oh god. You know what I mean? That's going to be brought up at every single birthday. Made me sweat. And, you know, yeah. Forever. Oh, yeah, his wedding. <laughs> Is that a snake? <laughs> oh, well done, Max. Good one. I'm glad, I'm glad you got away with it. Um, right, so this quiz then. The quiz. Uh, I, I've, I was wrong with Matty LeCon. Yeah, that was that's like a really famous race. Yes. Shampoo in the wet. That was it. That was the one I had in my mm. head. Val ah. Gasol in the dry where Sam Hill so tore Sam doesn't the win. field apart. He does, he does win. He did. He crashed on the last corner and the ah. winner was none other than G. Atherton. Oh, yeah, because he beat Steve Pete. Yeah. Steve Pete was nearly yeah. just about to do it. Steve was the meat in their sandwich. Sam Hill's <laughs> crashed. And then G come down and went, yeah. sorry, mate, not today. <laughs> so, I mean, if you enjoyed watching oh. the World Cup racing, Go yeah, back into the out. archives of YouTube and check that out. Check that Absolutely out. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely cool. Good quiz question. Like mm. that one, that confused me. Um, <laughs> right, let's do some hacks and bodges. Oh, yes, please. Hacks and bodges. Hacks and bodges. Hacks and bodges. I like that. Yeah, that was quite nice. That worked. I felt like. Um, Yes. Like a, a barbershop quartet, like, yeah. Uh, I think we've got uh, real talent. I really do. <laughs> um, yes, it's Hacks and Bodges. We now have uh, a £100, thanks to Chain Reaction Cycles, that we're going to give away right now Oof, to someone with the best hack or bodge or both. Yes. Shall I start? Yeah, you go first. You go first. All right, first contender this week is... This one is Joshua. It's Joshua right. has sent us a 3D print of a GoPro mount, which he stuck on his full face helmet, which that's I guess that's good. the chin of his full face helmet. Ooh. And he's got the GoPro mount, it's very neat. It is very it's neat. It's very neat. That is a, well it's not really a, it's a hack. It's not, yeah. a, it's not, a, not in no means if is you, that a bodge. If you've got a 3D printer, can yeah. you just print another 3D printer, keep your receipt and take the hey, one back? You know what, I was at Fabric the other day, they're work? working on a new seat for me for my bike, yeah. and they were 3D printing a, a uh, mobile phone mount on my bike seat for me. It was amazing. Oh wow. It was they were using lasers and alcohol and all sorts of things. See, gone are the days of like brilliant Patrick Swayze ghost style. Yeah. That's how I imagine they did GoPro mats before. Just I saw them chain melody. I saw them print a helmet. No. They printed a helmet. Oh wow. That happened. That's pretty good. Well done, Joshua. You're in the running, but will it be enough? Next we have one from Yannick's dad's bike. So he's kind of wow. gone for quite an <laughs> agricultural. I think it, it, it's probably falling into the bodge category, if we're honest. Uh, but it's probably functional, man. keeps him riding. At the end of the day, right, if he went out on the bike, it's still going. Oh, it's, you can't fault it, really, other than it's disgusting to look at. <laughs> my, but, friend, my friend guiding in the Alps, yeah. like got a knife out of cutlery jaw, cable tied it to his stays. Road for ages. What, fixed the, set, the chains? I mean, fixed is probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you rode for a while longer. It's so comfortable now, this bike. <laughs> I think that's in the lead at the moment. Yeah, no, that's pretty uh, good. The, the, the chain reaction bell is is gravitating towards that. Very ambitious. Right, I can, <laughs> I, can, I can beat that, I think. What about this, right? This is a bike hack for the, for the general world, right? Look at this. Oh Spot the Shimano God. shifter on the mower that is bloody this good. This is from Ben. Look at that. No, I love, I, I mean, love I'd like my this. mower that much more. Yeah. If I had a Shimano shifter on it. You could clearly say he mows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! <laughs> no messing about, he's done it again. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a real talent there. Don't be You've cutting got... me short. <laughs> <laughs> I love having Henry in. He's completely lost it. Right. Ben, I think you might be in the lead. Okay. I think you might be in the lead. Right, who we got? So, you can't we've beat got ben. Elijah. And this is kind of a hammock inspired approach to bike stands. I can't wait to see it. They clearly come off for a week on the beach and thought, yeah. hmm, I'll take a little bit of this home with me. <laughs> Bam, just swing it in the breeze. Hey, you They're know what? Good. That's the sort of thing, right? 
That looks simple, but that's the sort of thing my big brother would have come in the garage and done for me when I needed the bike stood up and you'd go, why don't you just do this? And I'd been like, how did you think oh of that? Oh my God. Yeah, how yeah. did you think of that? Yeah, no, but, totally. It is good, probably very functional. Yeah. It's probably a very functional bodge as opposed yeah. to a refined pack. What do you think? I think it's good. Elijah, well done, but I just think for what it brought us today, yeah. I think Ben's the winner, isn't he? Yeah, oh, Ben, well done. Well, well done. And you are 100 pounds. That's pretty good. Well done, I liked it. It just goes to show that you can use your bike parts to, uh, you're desperately trying to think of another one, aren't you? Desperately. Desperate, desperate. Great hacks uh... and bodges. If you've got <laughs> anything you would like to send in to us, including a hack or a bodge where you can try and win that 100 pound for Chain Reaction Cycles. I'm not cable to think of anymore. <laughs> Da, da, Leave da, me alone. Da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Good try though. Um, or a bike vault picture, or a send, or a anything like that, a crash, then go to the GMB and upload it. It's on the screen right there, and it is in the link in the description down below this video. Um, so you can go there and you can find that upload it and send us some stuff. Get involved with the show. That's what we like to see. Right, let's get cracking. What's up next? Send of the week. Right, um, I've got a great one to start with. I really like this. This is Spencer. Check out this side gap. I like this a lot. Um, you really have to send this. Big old bunny up in a slow mo. Ooh, yeah. So big you can slow mo it. Look at those what, hips. Is he going to land it on the those curb? Dancing hips. Boom. Oh, nice. Boom. <laughs> yeah, super good. I like that a lot. No. Dinky hot one there. Yeah, yeah totally. nice. I'll tell you what, that move on the trails. Yeah. It's get you out of trouble can get, and can get you on a line that you desperately need. And also, especially if someone's yeah. following you and yeah. you just go like that, and then and the other person is just like, yeah. oh, oh no. no, I'm okay down here. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> great move. Like it, Spencer, thank you very much. Good send. Next Definitely. we have a submission from Ben. Yeah. In Taunton, so let's see how we go. Where's he going from? Oh, oh yeah. No. no. Oh, go on, lad. Whoa, it's a big jump. That is One, a big jump. Two. Three, five bike lengths. Blimey, that was yeah. a big jump. Go cool. on, that was no. a, yeah. That is a send. That, that is that is a send. That's meaty. Good on you. You know nice, what? Man. That's one of those jumps you'd like take off, and it's like a long way away. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> but it's funny. Hey, <laughs> oh how, my god, it's over there. Do you ever think yeah. that kind of a lot of jumps are most like small to medium size? Mm. The airtime is often the same because you go faster when you're going further. Yeah. And then suddenly you get that little bit bigger, and the uh, airtime just goes. That's a good point, yeah, yeah. and suddenly you are travelling. Yeah. You're travelling a long <laughs> way. No, I like that a lot. Um, very nice. Right, last one we have got, this is Kalo, okay, on his giant rain, and he says he's a insane gap. He's going to jump the width. I've not seen this jump. It's going to jump. Oh, right. It's loud. It's getting some speed up. Oh, oh, Whoa, oh, oh. my God. This What's is quite high jump? production. What is he going to jump? Double angles. What are you gonna do, dude? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Width of the tabletop on the BMX park. Yeah, sick. That's not all we've got to go. We've got a POV from here. He's cranking it. Oh, oh it's yeah. not easy at all. Rah. I love all the angles. Yeah. That was That's like a, a Michael nice, Bay film. That was good, that. looking jump. <laughs> That's some big sense. Do you know what? I prefer the sense to the fails. Oh, yeah, big time. I really yeah. do. I love seeing you like, Get there, complete it. But really I don't mind. Great. I don't mind seeing a fail when someone's really trying hard. Like if maybe one of these boys had come up a bit short. Yeah. Because they're actually giving it the beans. But when someone's just like, I'm gonna drop off this table. Yeah. Just like, yeah. oh, that yeah. could have been avoided. It just looks painful. Yeah, we could have gone around <laughs> that. Yeah, we could have decided <laughs> yeah. not to. That is an option. You can decide not to. That's allowed. Um, right, let's do this week's caption contest. Yes, caption contest where we're going to give away a GMB and water bottle similar to this one. It won't be this one. Well, okay, that's a resident one. Don't want people to be disappointed. This is my one. <laughs> okay, so, I, I, so I'm not giving this one away, but we had a great uh, little video, look, from last week with Nino Schurter doing this little, well, it's like a plyometric training session where he's like using a 
gym ball to stop himself compressing his legs too fast and he's popping up onto that desk and then we've got a little rewind oh, yes. on it. Yes. Gave us some great captions. Look at this, we've got a great one. Um, and you're gonna, I'm gonna make you pick the winner here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, first one is Stephen Parkinson. Um, so looking at that video of Nino, his, ma his mechanic needs to take a serious look at his rebound setup. Yeah, that's Get pretty it. good. That's pretty Get good. It. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a warm start. Yeah. It's a warm start. I wouldn't say it's a banger or, or, or bottle worthy winning. <laughs> Um, next yeah, up, might be boxed into a corner. It might, yeah, it might be the best one. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Kevin Linger says, Nino practicing how most efficiently jump straight into the winner's seat. Got ya. You right, yes. Yeah, because he does that a lot. He does that a lot. He'd look an idiot if he did that on the podium. A bit showboating. Though. Yeah, it's a bit like, hey, let me just pop up onto there. Especially if he comes up with his balance yeah. board. No. Oh, <laughs> the world is my gym. On, on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that can't be the winner, I'm afraid. Steven's in the lead. Uh, Bill Hemiller says, you need to have massive balls to try Nino's workout. Get it? Yeah. Get it. Yeah, yeah. Massive balls. Nice. I like that one a lot. Nice. Um, last one, I think Ben's Bill's in the lead. Um, Tim Garland with the last one. Oh, you're gonna like, this is right up Henry okay, Street. Ready. This is right up Henry Street. This is one, this is one. Yeah. Neil couldn't match knees at, ne oh, I've said it wrong. Let me read it properly. <laughs> that wasn't very Let me good. read it properly. Is this still a quote? <laughs> Here it goes. Knee, oh, I'm nervous. I'm getting nervous. I'm nervous for Tim, okay, here we go. <laughs> Neil couldn't match Nino's example Ooh. of how to lay down the power. <laughs> yeah, example. Yes. Good night, sweetheart. I'm sorry, about the, you know who I'm the sorry about the delivery. No. I'm sorry about the delivery. <laughs> so Tim. <laughs> Tim's the winner, right? No, yeah, that was bloody good. Yeah, Tim, yeah. And what, Ex example, I like that one. What was funny is after they came back from that trip, yes. the guys were watching the video opposite to me. Yeah. The noises coming out from their hard workout oh. were quite unbecoming. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable, <laughs> isn't it? It's it's an incredible video. You yeah, really get a sense. Super impressive. You really get a sense of how strong that guy is. Yeah, it's gnarly. Just yeah. some of the roadie level stats yeah. he's putting out. Yeah, I mean, we, me and me and Neil worked out last week that he basically Nino is a Neil with a, a weightless Blake on his back. <laughs> you know, it's like it's basically he is as powerful as Blake and Neil put together on one bike. Wow, it's incredible. And they're both strong lads. So who do you think would win a hill on a tandem? Blake and Neil? Or no, Nino would win, wouldn't Nino. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Nino. He'll be Nino. <laughs> be Nino. Um, so this week's caption contest photo uh, for you to get involved and try and win a bottle like Tim Garland just did. Um, you can win one uh, if you give us a caption for this photo of Blake looking, literally taken, that shot taken moments after Nino's jumping. He looks awful to me. Oh, he does, Blake. he looks like he's been ran through the aging app. Oh, he you does, know? he does. Um, <laughs> which we've all done a little bit, but that, that looks real. Um, so give us a caption for that. What is Blake doing in that photo? I don't know. Give us a caption. You could be winning a GMB and water bottle next week. Sweet, so now we've got a pretty cool contest where we are asking for the, well, we did ask for the best emotional story in the comments. Yes, and there was a lot. There was a lot. Yeah, it was good actually. It was really good. Yeah, so it's based on our chat last week, me and Neil had about, you know, what we what we get out of mountain biking sometimes, what we didn't necessarily expect, sometimes a real huge high, and sometimes a low. Mm -hmm. But happens. you get something from the sport sometimes that's just so valuable, you'll, for, you'll, you'll never forget it. You'll remember it for the rest of your life. Yeah. So that's what these comments are all about. So uh, hopefully mood. something to cherish the yes. memory. Yeah. The best one is going to get swanky pants. Yeah, they're going to get a race top. GMBN but, race top. But, but I'm not going to show it yet because it's a brand new one. Ooh, so you're going to have to wait to see what it is, but it's sick. Okay, well, it's let's, worth winning. Let's set the scene as we go to these stories. So, Mr. Editor, we could have some maybe gentle piano music and fading to black and white about oh, now. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah that's 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 nice. doing it nicely. Nice, right? Bit of bit of mood. Yeah. Okay, right. First one is from Eileen Baker and says, "My favourite mountain bike memory was from my first ever ride." Oh, back oh, in the pretty day. Good one. Uh, my friend and I had spent a whole day riding and I got more and more comfortable. Uh, enough that it took me on a super steep ravine drop and I decided to take it on. After successfully dropping it twice, yes, uh, we decided on one more before heading home. Oh, 
no, uh, slight music no, change no. there. Yeah. At <laughs> this <laughs> point, I managed to start the drop, muck it up, oh. and Endo throwing the bike 10 meters down a hill into a oh. tree, uh, with me sliding nearly to the bottom of the ravine, standing up to find my friend holding my tackoed front wheel. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The first thing I said was, man, and biking is so much fun. Oh. Well, it was good. a positive end. I thought she was going to say this. I mean, that, that one twist yeah. and turn. Yeah, no, it did. That's a good story, Eileen. It's yeah. going to be difficult to beat. You might have a race top in your drawer. You might have done it. Go on. This one is from Angus Pruden. And yeah. he says, I was meeting some friends at the local trails and it's absolutely rinsing myself. Nice. Of all my energy to get a Strava PB. Oh no. Yeah. No, mm. Don't do that on the way <laughs> right. No. Having cycled a lot faster than my normal pace for six kilometers with four deadly hills <laughs> and one set of switchbacks <laughs> and six eggs and a Mars bar. No, no, I'm making that up. I was feeling sick and ill. Hearing that my friends were at the other side of the park, I was determined to get that PB as well. Yes. Turns out that my body just couldn't take the strain oh, and ended up blown it. throwing up on the side of the path. Oh, wow. And still wow, wow. carried on I riding. love that, because that's like that story he's going to tell for the rest of the life. Did I ever tell you about the time I threw up on my friend's feet? <laughs> <laughs> what happened was <laughs> brilliant. But yeah. I, when I was just joking there about running into the yeah. shopping list, I didn't realise that I was talking about things that would actually make fulfil the end of the yes, story too. Yes, yeah. I mean, it knitted in yeah, lovely. It did, I well. even had the colour of the vomit in that story. It was fantastic. <laughs> Such a rich, yes. a rich, fictitious texture. Uh, I like that one too. <laughs> Definitely a memorable one. Um, and lastly, now we've got Matej Murin. I think that's how you say his first name, Matej? Something like that. Um, I got into MTB as a full-time hobby. Um, quite late, aged 15, I'm now 17. Oh, you've aged. Oh, you're old. Um, I live in the capital of Slovakia and got nice hills all around. Um, MTB's helped me actually find out about the actual big mountains and trails around my way. There's pump tracks and a bike park all around the city. I explored the nature around the place with huge enthusiasm. Um, I'm much more outside. My biggest ups are when I crash some of those goals. Uh, make a jump, get faster, be more flowy, get gnarly. Yeah. Um, it's a great feeling when you know what you did has helped you progress. I'm still trying to get better and I'm watching GMBM videos every day. Uh, and it's my dream one day to meet you guys and ride the mega avalanche. I love this guy's energy. I like that. Right now I'm sitting at home with a broken arm from mountain biking. Waiting to recover and ride again soon. I just, wow, that I went just, off the cliff at the end there. I just love, imagine him riding around like, push it to the limit. Yeah. Yeah. Just loved like, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I cool. loved it. So we had a, we had a, was great. we had sort of a bit of everything there. Yeah. You know, what you get from mountain biking, the tough days, the great days despite the crashing, and the general discovery of the sport. It's, I don't want, oh. I can only give away one race top. All right, I nearly, I, I can only give away one race top, I've been told. Because <laughs> they're new. Right, so I'm going to get the race top and I, I'm going to show you. I'll tell you what, they're nice. This is our brand new race top. Brand so spanking. it's called the Fade. And you'll Ooh. see why, right? It's Ooh. called the Fade. And we're going to give one of these away now, but they're available in the GMBN shop. So look at that, can you see? Oh, it nice. Fades. Oh, can that would explain the, the name. Yes, but this is the short <laughs> sleeve version. <laughs> That one is very cool, and that's in the green, very nice. And this very nice. should be the long sleeve version of the fade. I don't have this race top yet, and I'm, now I'm unwrapping them, I'm feeling kind of good. <laughs> no prizes this week, guys. <laughs> oh, look, it's not my size. Uh, that's the fade. Can you see the fade, Leo? Can you see it? Super Looks fade. good, doesn't it? That is, that is that a is rad top. Super tidy, I like it a lot. Right, okay, so we're gonna give one of these away. Oh, Henry, can, I, can you do it? Can you do it? I don't wanna do it. I think. All did really well. You know, yes. we've got people overcoming adversity and drops. Yes. Being sick on their feet. Yes. But Matej yes. Murin just took us on one hell of a journey. He did. He seemed to have such a zest. Yes. Into it. Matej, you are the winner. You have got yourself a GMBN race top that is only just out, fresh out, brand new design. Um, so congratulations on that. Um, and it will be on its way to you, so get in touch. Uh, we'll get in touch with you on the email. Yeah, busy, busy week coming up. Got lots of cool videos. Great video from Neil, uh, how to 
pack your bike, right? Sounds simple, but it's a really good video actually because yeah. there's lots of tips in there. Um, and it's something that if you get right, is a dream. So you should definitely, <laughs> if you get wrong, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. But yeah, you should definitely check out the video. It's very, very cool. Um, we've also got some stuff. Uh, we've got podcasts, weren't we? We've got podcasts yes. from the World Cup. All Lens the latest and yeah. greatest World Cup results. Yes. So that'll be always worth tuning in for. And actually yeah. the thing that Neil was packing his bike for, the BC bike race, which is just oh. it's on my bucket list of things to do. Epic looking race. It nice. looks so good. Uh, did um, you see Jeff Kabush's bike? It's pretty nice, that. Oh, yes, I like that a lot. Pretty nice. Like that a lot. Yeah, so there's some great videos coming up this week. Uh, make sure you uh, pencil them into your diary. Uh, or you could go on to our channel, subscribe, and hit the old bell. There's that little bell, and it'll tell you when they're out. Nice. How about that? Right, we've got some posts this week. We've got some posts. Ooh. I love it when we get post. Our, yeah, our, our, nice. our postal address is in the description down below this video. I love it because we'll, we'll, anyone who sends us stuff will give you a bit of airtime. We'll prop your stuff up. So let's see what we've got. What have we got this week? We've got some big ones here. Yeah. Right, what have we got? What's this first one? This is. I don't know where it's from. This is from Pat Scott. Uh, hey, GMBM, big fans of the show. Just wanted to send you a gift. Um, to put it mildly, making my life great. So thanks for that. I used to race motocross oh, wow. from the age of three up until I broke my mm -hmm. uh, broke my neck, causing a spinal cord injury at aged 18 in 2009. Feel your pain, brother. I know what it's like. Um, it wasn't my first injury or concussion, that's for sure. But I needed. But it ended uh, the first chapter in my life. Oh, I like that. That's quite a nice. That's way a to nice way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, between racing and training motocross, and I was on a hardtail literally every second uh, between and after school. <laughs> between and after school, and well, should you should have been at school. <laughs> um, he was always building ramps, taking shovels to the woods, and creating the most awesome jumps as a child, uh, like everyone's childhood should be spent. Damn right, I like that. Got a great word, a great way with words, Pat. Um, mm. Got a massive admiration for Martin. I blush. Uh, positive attitude and comedy on the Dirt Shed show is fantastic. Comedy? Did you hear that? I do comedy. Did you hear that? Yeah. Nice. Um, so anyway, that's a really lovely letter, and I'm going to keep that. Um, but what have we got from Pat? Let's see. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, look, '90s motocross. Look at this. Oh, super cool. Oh my God, that's rad. Oh, yeah, 90s right. motocross. So that is a rad top. 90s motocross is their social media page um, that he started with his buddy, Chuck. Um, it's a rad thing, so you can go and follow those guys over on 90s motocross. Nice. Like that a lot. Super Thank cool. Thank you very much, Pat. Um, his uh, Insta account is up on the screen just there, so go give him a follow. Yeah. Thank you very much for the gift and the lovely letter. Like yeah. that a lot. Well done. Emails are great, but yes. it's nice to get post. You can't beat that post. post. I love post. post. A bit of old school post. Yeah. Um, and we can really get our hands on the stuff. What we got here? This is. I like looking at the packaging. See where it's come from. Jamaica post. Jamaica post. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Jamaica post. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what this is? I don't know what this is. Jamaica Post. Fans of the show out there will know what I'm about to do. This is from, it is. From the man himself. It's from Awire. Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. To the Dirt Shed Show team, I, Richard, Awire, Lecky, and the 5150 Trail Projects team formally invites you to come and ride and film at the 5150 Holy Trail smokes. Projects in Portmore, Jamaica. It's a Jamaican invite. Jamaican um, me crazy. Um, <laughs> you're on fire today. Thank you're you. on fire today. Um, we hope you can take this invitation into consideration and come and enjoy Jamaica in a very unique way. I am going to do my very best, Awell, to make yeah. that happen. Um, oh, amazing. Great. And there's a lovely letter here to go with it. That's so nice. Uh, this a nice card. Oh, it's Super lovely, lovely stuff. Letter. Yes, yeah. thank you. Um, that is amazing. I like that a lot. Can we put the can we put the letter in the description down below the video? I'm not sure if that's possible. So we've got this great, we've got this great race top. So is this is a 5150. Look at that, 5150 Super trail project. Cool. 5150. I like that a lot. It's a y a y style. There you go, Henry. Nice. Got yourself a top. Look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. Super cool. Fantastic. Thank you, a y. We're big fans of your riding. I will begin planning my trip to Jamaica. 
Um, and we've got some great stickers here. I'm gonna put on our jerry can over the back there. Amazing. A wire, legend. Yeah. Cheers, man. Full send. <laughs> there we go, man. Love it. Love that a lot. You can keep that one. Oh, That's wonderful. For you. That's oh, thank for you. you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. No worries. Um, great stuff. So, yes, if you've got any posts and you'd like to send it into the show, then please do. We love seeing it and we'll give you that little bit of time. Thanks very much. Yeah, it's the bike vault. Oh, new music. Listen to that. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That is from Liam Bradley. Yeah. Sent that in from Northern Monkey Studios. Oh. That is super nice. I like it. Got a nice bit. <laughs> of course, I've got great responsibility. I like that a That's... lot. Yeah, yeah. well, you've got the super nice bell now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, right, let's do the bike vault. Get in there. First bike this week. Who we got? It's Darren. Oh, mind out little Martin Ashton. <laughs> uh, it's Darren on his, his Canyon Spectral. Ooh. This is in the Hampshire South Downs. That looks pretty What'd good. What do you think of that one, Henry? It's what do you think? Pretty, it's pretty stealth. What you call murdered out, just black everything. Murdered out. Murdered out. That's I'm cool, out of murdering it? today, dear. That's murdered out. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. 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 Give, give, the, give the old bell a ring when they're super nice, right? So don't. I'm waiting. Not yet. Um, right, Ethan is Trek Superfly. In South Africa, Limpopo. Ooh. Uh, it's nice. Super, it's yeah, nice. Sorry, nice. I, I tell you what, though. I, super as a hook. It's nice because he's got like, that's a full on termite mound, which looks a little bit like a takeoff, which I quite like. Yeah. And if you look, he's, gone, he's got his tyres all like in line. In line, yes. Pedals, three o'clock. Yeah, nice. No, it's pretty good. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice, but it's nearly, it was nearly more. I think if it had been stood up straight, it's too lent yeah, over. For me, the thing that held me back is the brake line running alongside the forklift. Ah, Sorry, I'm a bit of a better. Nightmare, nightmare, nice. Ooh, um, next up, Daryl's Santa Cruz the Heckler. Heckler. I've always been a bike I've had a bit of a soft spot for. Really? Yeah, I just, I think it was, you know, growing up and it was like the one Santa Cruz that, you know, mm. I was like, oh, ooh, I might, might just be able to get my That's a good enough excuse for me. Super, super nice. Daryl's got a super nice. Um, Yurik has got his YT mm. Capra Pro Race 2017. He likes wow. matchy matchy. Look at those colours. That Orange is everywhere. Factory looking, isn't it? That is good. That is fact. That's super nice. May I? That's the egg. That is a super nice looking bike. Um, oh yeah, Toby's Ooh, Norco. I really like his Norcos as well. Love it. Yeah. Love it. That is in Whistler. Cool. I'm going for it. Super nice. I'm going there next week. Oi! Yeah, can't wait. Son of a gun. Um, Jason's Trek Fuel up next. Uh, I like that a lot. I've got, I quite like that sort of matte, it's not matte, but sort of matte grey. Yeah, paint gun primer grey. So good. So yeah, good. what do you yeah. call it? Paint primer grey. Paint primer, like they, yes. they sprayed in the factory and thought, yeah, that'll do. That'll do, and yeah. it looks no, fantastic. Like paint the new proofs are like that as well. Yeah, it's very nice. I'd give that a super nice, because I like the core. Wrong. Well done, Jason. Um, lastly, this week, we've got Scott's custom Dartmoor uh, Adrenaline Alley Corby. I know that bike park well. It's an amazing place to ride, that is. Where is it? Uh, it's in Corby, um, in the north of England. And it's, uh, mm -hmm. fair, well, not north of England, Midlands. Is that near Peterborough? Uh, That's sort of way? No. Okay. But it's, uh, it's, a really cool, <laughs> it's, it's a really cool bike park. It's uh, where a lot of the top riders session, and oh, there's wow. some brilliant stuff in there. Fantastic. That's a nice. That, That's a nice that to end nice. the bike vault this Super week. Super clean looking. Very cool. Like that a lot. Um, last up this week, I just want to mention those race tops again. Uh, we've got those brand new, excuse me, diving away there. We've got our brand new race tops. Have a look at that, Henry. The Fade, I'm particularly proud of these. Are you a long sleeve or I short didn't, sleeve I said guy? that like I designed them. I didn't design these. I just <laughs> like them. They're not going to tell them. Yeah. So you designed yeah. these, I Martin. designed these. Oh, well done. These are my design, Fade. Oh. Um, yeah, they're available in the GMB and shop, of course, along with lots of new gear that's uh, using this very cool design. Henry, thank you for joining us this week. Oh, you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, had a lovely time. I like the puns. Were they puns? They're sort of puns. What, I, what was the what was the thing? I like them. Yeah, I think they were they were tenuous is what they were. <laughs> ah, nice one. Right, we're going to send you some other videos here, so hit either of these if you would like to see more videos from us, these ones in front of our faces, or you can hit the old globe there to subscribe. Um, don't miss out on doing that. It's a great opportunity to make sure you don't miss one of our videos. And uh, lastly, I think that's a thumbs up like, isn't it? Guess one of those. We'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. <laughs>